Lama without the title. You see, at the back of your mind, Mr. Girard knows, you ought to know all this. So I am confessing to the Christian, I don't know. I am ashamed of myself, born Muslim. But so saying, I said, now we must turn the tables. So I said, look, but I take it that you know your Bible. That would be better than me. I don't know my Quran as I ought to know. But you know your Bible? He said, of course. So can I have a look? He'll be happy to give it to you. That's what he wants. So as soon as he gives me the Bible, I said, I open up for him the first book of the Bible called Genesis chapter 19, verse 30. And I said, read. Read this. So he's going to look at it. And he smells a rat. He doesn't want to read it. I said, what's wrong? Isn't that the word of God? He said, yes, I want to hear you read. If he reads, what does he read? He reads about the Prophet Lot, Lut al -Islam. After the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, he and his two daughters, they go and live in a cave, alone. And in the cave, the eldest daughter tells the younger, our father is old. There's not another man in, on earth yes. who can come into us like in the manner of all the earth, what people do. There's nobody to do it to us. Come, let us make our father drink wine, khamar, so and we'll lie with him and preserve the seed of our father. So they made the father drink wine and the firstborn, the eldest daughter, went and had sex with the father. Next night she tells the youngest, look, yesterday I slept with my father, you do the same tonight. So they made the father drink that night also, and the younger went and slept with the father. Sex. And thus, both the daughters of Lot were child by the father. So I want to know from you, the Christian, what is the moral of the story? What is the moral? What lesson? We tell our children fairy tales. Fairy tales, we tell them. Fables. What is the idea? The idea is that you're trying to teach a moral. Don't be like the greedy fox. When you couldn't get the grapes, you say sour grapes. Huh? My child, don't be like that. Don't be like the greedy dog. He found a bone with a bone in his mouth. He's crossing a wooden bridge across the river. And he sees a reflection in the water. And he's thinking there's another dog with a bone in his mouth. So he's greedy for the other dog's bone. He says, so he lost what he had. Don't be like that, my child. It's a moral, fables with morals. No foxes jump for grapes. And no dog cross the bridge with a bone in his mouth. But we are just telling them this created story is to teach a moral. What's the moral of this? Come, come, come. I want to know what is the moral of this story? What lesson your daughter learns from this? Your sister, what lesson does she learn? And if you're a blind mother, you see, she wants you to read the Bible to her, and you read this, and she wants to know what is all this going on, my son. You explain to her. There's the daughter fucking the father, night after night. Still Genesis, the first book of the Bible. Don't go far. Chapter 35 speaks about Reuben, the eldest son of Yaqub al Yaakov. Yaqub's son, Reuben. He goes and fucks his mother. That's all. And it says here, and Israel was told. So the father was told, he said, you know, your son, put your wife. And he didn't say, put, you bastard. What do you do that the whole world is full of prostitutes? Let me don't go and see anyone. Or somebody else says, wife or daughter, why my wife, your mother, you bastard, what do you want to fuck your mother for? He didn't even speak of him. He didn't even say, shit, you bastard, what do you do a thing like that? Nothing. What's the moral? Come, 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 come. I want you to tell me what's a moral. Then still Genesis. The first book of the Bible. Don't go far, man. There are 66 books here. You don't have to type. First book of the Bible. Judah, the father of the Jewish race, is going to Timnat to share the sheep. He sees a woman sitting by the roadside. He didn't know that she was his daughter-in-law. So he goes up to her and says, allow me to come in unto thee. So she says, what will you give me? I'll give you a kid from the flock, goat kid. He said, how do you know? How, how do I know that I'm going to get it? You might grind and go away. So, so, I want a guarantee. So what guarantee do you want? He said, your signet, your ring, and your bracelet, and your staff. So the woman gave it to her, and I think it took us with his daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law. 
think she became pregnant. Straight away, one hit, twins. This old man, one hit, he gave twins to his daughter-in-law. And they become the great grandfathers of your God, Jesus. They are the great grandfathers of your God, Jesus Christ. What is the moral of that? Hmm? Father-in-law. <laughs> now with this shit, the Christian is getting converts. And you and I, with the Quran, we are not getting converts. I want to know why. No. I'm asking the Arabs, I want to know why. Come, 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 I want you to explain to me. How is it that we don't get converts and the Christian is getting converts? In the year 1900, Africa was 3% Christian. 3%? That means okay. for every 100 only 3 Christian. The another one? They were all Muslims and, Muslim uh, and, uh, uh, and enemies. Right? Okay. Today, the Christians is 40% of Africa. No. 40! No, done. From 3% of 40%. Allah. And by the turn of the century, they want to make Africa a, a Christian continent. And they'll succeed. We are satisfied. I'm a Muslim. Each of you are Muslims. Algeria, Libya is 100% Muslim. It's a bloody rubbish, man. Blood rubbish. Lamu, opposite Mombasa, no. is an island. Yes, I know. It was 100% Muslim. It was like a virtual Medina. When you hear the Azan, everybody closes the business and everybody moves. Mm, all go for Salat. Lamu. Lamu, yeah. We're very happy, very proud people. We are Muslim, Alhamdulillah. No bars, no dancing, no gambling, nothing! Today, there are more bars in Lamu than any other place of a comparable size in Kenya. More bars. No. Why? Because across the waters was mainland Africa. Yes. Uh, you got the enemies there, you see the Kafir, and some Christians there. So we are 100% Muslim. You were not worried about them. Now they turn the tables on you. More bars, more gambling dens on Lamu, and more prostitutes in Lamu than any other place of a comparative size in Kenya. <laughs> so there's no guarantee. Yes. Even if you're 100%. What about the environment? See, the people are get, you can become smug when you're 60% or 80%. Syria is 80% Sunni. Sunni. We are Sunnis. Aye. But 20% of the Alawites, they're ruling you. They know. South Africa mm. was 80% black. 80%. Right. Yes. But that less than 20% were ruling you for 300 years. In, 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 in Zem, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. Southern Rhodesia, Smith declared a UDI with only quarter million. And the, for 12 years he kept the whole world at bay. Whole world, the whole of Africa side, you keep away. For 12 years he kept everybody at arm's length. So, numbers don't count, man. See, these guys, you, you get satisfied. Egypt, I'm telling the Egyptians. I say, you read the Quran. He said, yes. No. They said, they read the Quran. Mm. I say, you understand what you read. So he said, not like you Hindis. I'm a Hindi from India. We read the Quran without understanding. We just read. Alhamdulillah, But we don't know what is Alhamdulillah. We can read the Quran, whole Quran, half the Quran, but we don't know what it means. There's a system. Indonesia same, Malaysia same, yes. East Africa same, West Africa same. They yes. read the Quran, but we don't know what we are reading. Yeah, no. But you Arabs, you Egyptians, mm -hmm. you understand you what know. you read. He said, yes. So I said, Allah is telling you. He's telling us all. But since I don't understand, like somebody shouts in an Ethiopian language now, fire, fire. I'll just keep on talking to you. I said, maybe somebody calling his friend. 